Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add an emoji or a logo to your progress bar so you can stand out in your marketing and your branding for social media. Let's get it. So you may remember in the past on this channel, in fact, I think it was like three years ago, I was ahead of the curve. <laughs> what can I say? Three years ago, I showed you guys how to create those meme square box style videos that have a headline up top, have captions. I know for a fact you've seen these type of videos all over social. And if you haven't watched those videos, click above or I'll leave links in the description so you can watch those tutorials and know where to start at. With that being said, I wanted to enhance the progress bar and add my logo or you can add an emoji or you can do anything you want. I wanna show you guys how to do that in Final Cut Pro 10. Yes, I do love video, I love editing. However, I love marketing even more. So I wanna show you this tutorial so you guys can start using it and leveraging it in your social media marketing and stand out from everyone else. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's load up Final Cut Pro 10. You see it's loaded right there and I'll show you how to do this awesome effect. Let's get it. All right, everyone. So now that I have Final Cut Pro 10 open, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this first. So when we're doing a meme square video content, we're gonna go up to new, we're gonna go to project. So under here under custom, we're gonna make them 1080 by 1080. I'm gonna do 24, but we need to do a custom. And like I said, there's a tutorial. I did this already. So, so now that we have that, I'm gonna enter my files. Now I already did this, so I just kind of want to pick up where I left off. So right now we have a testimonial, and shouts out to Rappahannock IT, my boy Cody and George in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Anyway, so I got a good testimonial from them, and as you can see, this is square. And I have the headline up top, I have the captions built in, branding, progress bar, the whole nine. But I wanted to take it to the next level. And in doing so, I wanted to put my logo just like this, as you can see, and have it slide. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you're going to want to have insert your logo. All right, so this is my file. It's a vector. It's a PNG and I insert it into the timeline. This is the original size. Obviously, we need to shrink it, so let's make it a little bit smaller. Over here in Transform, we're gonna play with the X and Y axis, so I'm gonna go ahead and play with the X, get it matched accordingly, and then Y, I'm gonna go down to the negative so it can go on top of the progress bar. We can come up here to make sure it's all lined up. and get a good start point, right? Where I want it to start. Because I want it to follow the progress bar. That's the whole goal. That's good branding right there. That's good marketing. Right now, this is what it would look like. So with working with Jamie. And we're gonna keyframe it so our logo can go with the progress bar. Now, once we have that, we're gonna come over here to the transform position. I want you guys to pay close attention to the negative five two one here and yours might be different depending if it's because yours is going to be your progress bar might be in the middle it might be on the bottom but for my case these are the coordinates so negative five twenty one right so essentially when we go through all the way we're probably going to end up at a positive five twenty one safe to say okay that's a major key and i'm going to show you why for example and this is where my buddy was getting a hiccup the other day when he was trying to do this himself. What you don't want to do, and this is the don't. I'm going to show you the don't real quick. You don't want to start here. So you, we'll click, click a keyframe. Then we'll go all the way to the end. And then usually what I do is I just go like this. I click the mouse up. And then when it plays back, so with working with Jamie, he actually saw as you can see markets and our logo is not catching up to speed and it looks super super corny. So we do not want this and this often happens. So don't do it like that, okay? Big X, don't do it. Try this again. This is the proper way. This is the way you guys want to do it. I'm going to show you the loophole, all right? 
world premiere, baby. All right, so we're going to click our logo or file that we want tracked on the progress bar. We're going to go transform position, and we are going to hit the plus sign. We're going to activate the keyframe. Keep in mind, the x-axis, we're at negative 520, okay? Negative. So we're going to go all the way to the end right here. And what we're going to do right here, we're going to simply add a positive 520. Watch. Now when we do the playback. So with working with Jamie, oh, he actually saw what markets. Look at that. It is flowing through on time, on track. And that's exactly what we want. Simple, right guys? Very easy peasy. This would definitely enhance any of your meme type of style videos if you have a progress bar. And this, my friends, is how you add a logo or a PNG file to your progress bar for better branding, better marketing. If this Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial was helpful, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more tutorials like this on the channel, as well as gear, unboxings, reviews, and filming tips and tricks, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.